fair to call caffeine liquid stress given the fact that one of the main side effects of caffeine is anxiety because caffeine stimulates the, I believe it's adenosine receptors in order to prevent you from being able to go to sleep and uh, that has a number of inflammatory as well as anxiety inducing effects as in externality of that wakefulness that the substance also causes. Now, as a result of this, in our productivity minded culture and our nine to five grind that were most of us at least are on, uh, we're all consuming liquid stress. We are in a society that is consumed by consuming liquid stress. And that's a concerning thing. Concerning thing that doesn't adequately address the needs of the people. You know, maybe if we had something like a four day work week or even less, like a a four-day work week mandated by law, but then like a UBI in there as well to make it to where people could work like two days if they, you know, really uh, didn't want to work the four. I don't think we'd see caffeine consumption at such a high rate. And we could totally afford to do it. Productivity, worker productivity has gone up over 10 times since uh, the 20, uh, 48 hour work week was initially introduced. So there's no reason productivity wise, why we can't change it. It just is this way right now. Um, and the same goes with a, a UBI. People might say, how do you pay for it? How do you pay for it? Well, it's easy. You put a tax on the most wealthy people in society. You uh, start looking into ways to uh, reduce our expenditures on things like the military and other things that we don't need to pay for to the same degree. And we get a UBI. It's not rocket science. It's really not. Um, and maybe then we would be able to spend more time to ourselves, with our families, time for ourselves, and not have to break ourselves with these both socially accepted natural stimulants in the form of caffeine and nicotine, but also uh, more prohibited ones that some people might be doing under the table that they may feel compelled to do in order to be productive in the context of this capitalist economy. If we transition to a more humane kind of economy, this wouldn't be an issue. I think a lot of us are in an altered state without even knowing about it because around 90% of the population consumes caffeine on a daily basis. I think what those people don't understand is that caffeine is a psychoactive drug that also happens to have side effects. I think many anxiety disorders can simply be explained by the fact that people are consuming caffeine and the caffeine happens to give people anxiety. I think depression can be explained the same way because if you have an existing mood disorder it's been empirically demonstrated that consuming caffeine can increase symptoms of depression and anxiety. So it's not like this stuff isn't serious. It is. And we're not really approaching it like that. We're not approaching this 
drug like it's serious. But few people will ever end up taking breaks from caffeine to find out what they felt like before they got on it. And I think... I think that's necessary to see how we viewed the world for the longest time. I've been feeling bad ever since I started consuming caffeine in a big way regularly. Um, I've been feeling bad because... I remember what it felt like to exist in the past, and now it feels different. The sensations that I ascribe to life, the feelings that I associate with it, it's different now. and. I think that heightened anxiety has a lot to do with it, I think. I think the way that the world changes when you're under the influence of something has a lot to do with it. Maybe if I lived my life in a more pure way, I'd be able to have a connection to the world that I miss living in so much. I just, I remember being 18 and 17, and I look back on those times with such fondness. Such fondness. I don't know if I can ever get back to there. Because things have happened to me since then that have changed me. I've done things that have changed myself as well. But I don't know if I can ever go back to those times. But it seems like I desperately want to. Like, I don't want to keep living the life I've been living. I just want to go back. And it seems like I liked myself a lot more before I had pretended to be transgender and then actually went through with taking hormones and stuff. It seems like I liked myself so much more before that. And of course I did. If you're engaging in a deliberate facade to trick people into thinking that you're transgender when you're not, and every single thing that you have to do ends up being dedicated to pursuing that end, Everything that you have to say has to be concocted to fit that narrative. The amount of mental effort it takes to do that is going to exhaust you. But it's also a kind of self-harm. Because I made these decisions knowing full well that they would hurt and that I didn't want to do it. But I decided to do it nonetheless because I thought it was the only way that I could survive and not have to get a job. I thought it was the only way. I've tried to say 
in so many videos how traumatic of an experience that was for me. But it seems like I, I can never fully get across just how traumatic it was. Hey guys, look, I got something to tell you. There's a whole lot that you need to know. Namely, that I am on a four dollar in total with tax webcam that was supposed to be one dollar and would have been if I were from its country of origin, that being China. It was on AliExpress. This is what four dollars got me. That's okay though. Mm -hmm. Oh, you like that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Jack looks like a pig from this angle. But the cat's got like fleas on his face, so he lets the dogs do that. Mm. And bite the cat is like Frankie's favorite game. And Jack's getting to play the favorite game. He's like, you know, hurting the cat just a little too much. Hey, hey, leave the cat alone, okay? But as long as, like, he nibbles, he's fine. But then he starts, like, Jack, quit doing that to the cat. <laughs> he's doing that again. Hey. Well, the, the Come funny on now. kissy face was just warming up to, like, Why, why are they trying to fight? Oh, Jack, well. quit it. Carly, come get Jack, Jack. Jack, leave that cat's butt alone. <laughs> hey. Come on now.
Oh, what did he call her? Uh, a draggle tail gutter snipe. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, we were watching My Fair Lady for a while. Uh, <laughs> Jim doesn't seem the My Fair Lady type. Present day, <laughs> present time. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, babe. Taking images of you. Mm, you're gonna post this one on the Osaka Syndrome YouTube channel, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. This is your secret technique. Your mm -hmm. secret tactic. Mm -hmm. <sighs> now I got you really close, babe. Mm -hmm. Now maybe I can use this for something in the future. I don't know why, but if I kind of film the door like that might be able to use this I don't know they have like those things 